Vertical curves are used to have a smooth transition of elevations in the road. Check more examples presented in this video on symmetrical parabolic curves. Welcome to Engineering Surveys. Example number one. An underpass crossing, a reinforced concrete bridge, has a descending grade of 4% meeting an ascending grade of 8% at the vertex V located at station 7 plus 720 with an elevation of 70 meters exactly underneath the center line of the 10 meter bridge. If the required minimum clearance under the bridge is 5 meters and the elevation of the bottom of the bridge is 78.10 meters, a. Determine the length of the vertical parabolic curve that shall connect the two tangents. B. Determine the stationing of the point where a catch basin will be placed. And C. Determine the elevation of the point where a catch basin will be placed. By projecting the grades of negative 4% and positive 8%, the intersection is identified at station 7 plus 720 and elevation of 70 meters. By using the grade diagram, we can locate the lowest point where it is identified before half of L. The problem also discusses a bridge situated above the point of vertical intersection. Its center line coincides with a projection of PVI. The bridge is 10 meters in width, giving either side of the center line 5 meters length. The bottom of the bridge is at elevation 78.10 meters. The requirement of the minimum clearance between the bridge and the underpass is 5 meters as illustrated. The minimum clearance will be taken from the most critical point of the bridge, which would be the right edge. Identifying these conditions will help us determine the requirements. For the requirement of the length of the vertical parabolic curve, the two formulas to work on will be the function with the external distance h and the ratio and proportion of y and x. Starting with h, which is L all over 8 times the absolute value of g1 less g2, plug the grades to have the function h is equal to 0.015L. Then with the ratio and proportion of the verticals and horizontals, that would be y is to x squared is equal to h is to half of L is squared, replace h with 0.015 L to simplify it as y is to x squared is equal to 0.06 is to L. So we only need to find y and x at this point. x is taken as the distance between either PC or PT to the point of consideration. In the example, the most critical points located at the latter half of the curve, so we use PT, and it is denoted as half of L less 5 meters. From the known elevation of the bottom of the bridge, we can identify the maximum required elevation of the underpass. From 78.10 meter elevation, we take away the minimum clearance of 5 meters, giving 73.1 meter elevation for the location denoted as point A. From the bottom elevation, we can also take the location of point B from the elevation of PVI. And conventionally, we work with the elevation of point B plus the grade of 8% multiplied by the distance of 5 meters and it will result to 70.4 meters. This is elevation B. Knowing the two elevations, take the difference as that is Y, so 73.1 less 70.40 is equal to Y of 2.7 meters. From the modified working equation, we can now plug the values of x and y. Simplify the equation to get L squared minus 200L plus 100 is equal to 0. And by using the quadratic formula, we come up with the two values of the length of curve, the first being 199.5 meters and the second as 0.5 meters. The more feasible value of 199.5 will be adopted. The second requirement is the station of the point where a catch basin will be placed. 
the catch basin will be located at the lowest point of the curve, which can then be identified horizontally by using the formula of S1, which would yield a value of 66.5 meters. Since the only given station is at PVI, we use this point as the basis, thus we need to get distance Z or the distance between the lowest point and PVI. So the lowest point of the curve is stationed at 7 plus 686.75. The third requirement is the elevation of the lowest point. By starting from the PVI with the elevation of 70 meters, add the tangent projecting using G1 of 4% times distance Z, which is 33.25 meters. The resulting point denoted as point C has an elevation computed as 71.33 meters. The next thing to do is to determine Y, which would use the proportionality. X takes S1, H is computed as 2.99 and half of L is 99.75, so Y is computed as 1.33 meters. The elevation of the lowest point is then computed as the summation of the elevation of point C with Y and that would give 72.66 meters. Example 2. A descending grade of 4.2% intersects an ascending grade of 3% at station 12 plus 675 with an elevation of 55.5 meters. These two grades are to be connected by a 260 meter vertical parabolic curve. A reinforced concrete culvert pipe with an overall diameter of 105 centimeters is to be constructed with its top 50 centimeters below the subgrade. What will be the invert elevation of the culvert? Again, draw the grades of 4.2% descending and 3% ascending where they meet at PVI with station of 12 plus 675 and elevation of 55.5 meters. The length of the curve is also given as 260 meters. Additionally, a reinforced concrete culvert pipe of 105 centimeters diameter is to be placed under the curve. As per design, culverts should be placed in the lowest point of the curve. Thus, we need to determine the location of the lowest point. Moreover, the requirement is the invert elevation of the culvert. By invert elevation, we are required to check the elevation of the bottom part of the culvert. Start with the location of the lowest point of the curve. From the grade diagram, it is noted that the lowest point will appear at the latter half of the curve. We can prove that with the formula of S1, where it is computed as 151.67 meters. The remaining distance S2 is taken as 108.33 meters. We are now to use the proportionality of verticals and horizontals to identify H from the formula H is equal to L all over 8 times the absolute value of G1 less G2. Plug the known values to have H is equal to 2.33 meters. Now plug the known values into the proportionality to come up with Y, which is 1.62 meters. So continue with the elevation of the projected tangent from PVI by multiplying G2 times A to give the elevation of the tangent point A of 56.15 meters. This will be used with Y to find the elevation of the lowest point of the curve, point B, which is computed as 57.77 meters. Learning the elevation of the lowest point, we can locate the culvert and identify the invert elevation. The problem states that the recommended clearance between the curve and the culvert is 50 centimeters. Then the outer diameter is measured as 105 centimeters, so reducing these values from the elevation of the lowest point of the curve will identify the invert elevation, and this is computed as 56.22 meters. Mm -hmm.